Hello everyone, it's indeed inspiring to see you back again. This is tutorial seven, and today we will see that how to apply function on PySpark. So let us start now. In this, we will be seeing pandas, UDFs, and pandas functions. So basically this is an interaction between Python pandas and PySpark data frames. Let us see uh, how does that uh, work. So I'll be starting with import pandas as PD, and I'll be importing another library as import uh, from PySpark, from PySpark.sql, import Spark session. And before that, I, I need to do, before that, I just need to install. So pip install PySpark. Yeah, so let me run that. And by that time, I'll be importing these things. Okay. And uh, yes, apart from this, I will be importing, apart from pandas, from PySpark, PySpark.sql.func functions import, I'll be importing pandas UDF, UDF, okay. So these things I'll be importing. So you can see that it is collecting because I'm doing on Collab, that's why I need to uh, do pip install PySpark. Okay, otherwise in my local, it is already installed and I need not to do that. So Collab is wonderful in terms of uh, memory. It gives us 12 GB of RAM. So processing is comparatively faster. Now, uh, apart from this, I will install, I will load one more uh, library from SK learn import data sets. Okay, so data sets also I'll be importing. Fine, so let, let them get uh, imported. And by that time, I'll just load data is equal to data sets dot load iris. And that's it, yeah. So here, if I show you, so data sets is not defined. Okay, okay. Uh, didn't it get executed? Let me execute it again. And then let me execute this. And after this, uh, let me just see what has come to data, okay. So this is this has come to data, okay, from uh, okay description and all other details. So I'll be picking up only data from here. So let me create uh, pd underscore df pandas data frame, and uh, this I'll be creating with the help of pd dot data frame. So here I'll be passing data dot data, okay, data dot data. So this uh, pd underscore df will look like this. And uh, here 150 records are there. We can see all of them. Uh, column names are not given. So I will, what I will do, pd underscore df uh, dot columns. Let's, uh, let's type dot c-o-l-u-m-n-s dot columns. And here we can see the column names are coming. Start is zero, stop is uh, four, and step is one. So this is how it has taken. So what I'm going to do, pd underscore df is uh, dot columns. So I, I am aware that what are the column names? So I'll just pass a list here. And first one is sepal length, second one is sepal width, third one is petal length, fourth one is petal width. Okay, so I'm just giving name to all of them. So comma and last one is petal width. So I've changed the column names and if I do pd underscore df dot show now, okay, I'm sorry, so dot show, not dot show, head, okay, dot show is, uh, is, is is the is the uh, sparks uh, uh, function so here slsw plpw we are getting now here i'll be creating ss is equal to spark session spark session dot builder oh, builder yeah so builder dot so just have a look at it yeah so builder dot app name in the app name let me create f u n c t i o n function app and at the end i will write get or create okay so get or c r e a t create okay get or create so this is behaving a little slow i can see okay so my ss object from spark session is getting created and then i will convert the pandas data frame into spark data frame so you can see here that uh, ss underscore df i'll be creating is equal to ss dot create data frame and here I'll be putting pd underscore df. Okay, so that data frame is going to convert it into 
ss underscore df it will become so let me just uh, type uh, print schema print schema and let us see so and ss underscore df so you can see that uh, we have got uh, slsw and let me just show it so this is the data frame so you can see that if you have a pandas data frame you can convert it into the uh, spark uh, data frame pi spark data frame and it is done okay it, it works with us so now let me show you how you can apply uh, functions okay so how you can apply functions let, let me show you that part we have already imported pandas we have pandas we have already imported pi spark dot sql dot uh, functions uh, uh, pandas udf so that also we have imported so we will be using that so here you can see i can define a function okay so def b a n d s pandas underscore plus underscore one so this function will just add uh, one value to a series okay so let me create a series we'll pass here and the data type will be pd dot series okay so uh, yes okay pd dot series fine this will, will be the data type and this is going to give us back return uh, return us back a series only okay it is going to return us back a series so yes now here i will simply add one and return so return and series okay so series plus one so you can see that def pandas plus one this is the name of the function series is the argument or the parameter we are passing here pd dot series is the data type and it is going to return us back again pd dot series only so this we have created and uh, now i'll be utilizing my ss underscore df okay dot select okay you can go back to the previous uh, recording uh, tutorials you will find that what this select function do so inside select what i will be doing i'll be passing inside select i'll be passing the pandas pandas plus one so i'm passing a function over here inside that function i'll be passing ss underscore df dot uh, the column name sl sepal length i'm passing okay inside that and then i'm just uh, trying to see what it does okay so we are applying a particular function on a particular column of a data frame or pi spark data frame and it applied it has added one you can see 6 plus 1 5.9 because here if you see this is 5.1 so 5.1 has become 6.1 so it has added a value over it okay so this is how you can basically apply a function uh, do you want to see another let me uh, let it me explain you one more function over here okay we'll create a filter function now okay so def p a n d a s pandas uh, underscore f i l t e r filter f u n c filter function so we are creating a filter function here i'll be taking iterator okay so iterator as a parameter uh, so for pandas underscore d f in iterator Okay, so for, for pandas underscore df into iterator, I will be performing yield pandas underscore df, and here I will be applying a filter. Okay, so filter would be pandas underscore df. Okay, dot sl greater than equal to 5.0 so i'll be fetching all those records which are greater than or equal to 5.0 so let me just show you so df dot we have a function uh, map in pandas so map in p n d s map in pandas okay i'll be using this function inside it i'll be passing pandas okay so but i'll be passing filter function because i have created filter function and then here i will be passing schema Okay, S C H E M A schema is equal to. I'll be passing from S S underscore D F from S S underscore D F dot schema. I'll be passing. Okay, so that schema it will be using and dot show. So let us see what is the output of this. So name error D F is not defined. Yes. So my 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 data frame name is S S underscore D F and let me execute it now. So here you can see that we have got all the records which are having values greater than five point zero. right so we have got all those records so this is how we can basically 
uh, apply a, a function into pandas. I'll be getting into details of it. Do write me if you have any queries. Thanks for watching. Wait for the next video. Thank you.